Cruise news. Two cruisers from two different ships have lost their lives in separate incidents. Additionally, multiple other cruise ships have encountered tragedy but have good news to report. And some changes are coming to cruising in 2024. I'm going to get you up to date with all of the latest cruise news and I'm going to get you the information fast coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason and we are your cruise information channel. We get you the cruise news and information you're looking for quickly without wasting your time. So if you love cruising, consider subscribing. Let's go ahead and kick things off with number one, Royal Caribbean has released some fun facts regarding 2023. Here are some of their did you know numbers from last year. First, Royal Caribbean hosted over 6 million cruise passengers, taking them to 252 different ports of call worldwide. Along the way, they served up over 14.5 million ice cream cones and performed 12,800 shows. And the cruise line will get even bigger this year with the launch of the Icon of the Seas in January and the launch of the Utopia of the Seas in July. Number two, China's first ever cruise ship built in China launched on its maiden voyage today. The name of the cruise ship is the Adora Magic City. It is designed based upon Carnival Cruise Line's Vista class of ships. The Magic City will be doing four and five night sailings out of Shanghai. Destinations will include both South Korea and Japan. Notably, the cruise ship does not have a casino as that is illegal in China. However, it does have a much larger shopping area on the ship. Moving on to number three, as we enter 2024, seven cruise ports are set to increase their taxes on cruisers. Very quickly, here are those changes. First, Ketchikan, Alaska is increasing their tax on cruisers from $9 to $11 per person. Also effective today, the Bahamas is increasing their tax on cruisers from $18 to $23 for passengers who stop in Nassau, Freeport, or Bimini. The charge will be going to $25 for passengers who are visiting a cruise line's private island. And additionally, the Bahamas will also be charging a $5 per person environmental tax and a $2 per person tourism enhancement tax. Plus effective today, St. Croix and St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands are adding a $5 fee per cruise passenger to fund port upgrades. And on the screen right now are increased fees for visiting four European ports. These include ports in Italy, Spain, Portugal, and the Netherlands. Next, number four, an earthquake has rattled parts of the Caribbean. Yesterday, a 4.9 magnitude earthquake jolted the islands of Dominica and Martinique. You can see on the left of this chart the magnitude of earthquakes. When you come over to the center, you can see that only about 2,000 earthquakes reach that magnitude each year worldwide. You can also see on the chart that the energy release for an earthquake that size is similar to that of an average tornado. So a 4.9 magnitude is relatively strong. Thankfully, there have been no reports of serious injury at this time. Then number five, a cruise vlogger has caused a big stir on TikTok. The vlogger's TikTok account is called Victoria's Way. In her short video, she shares 11 tips for staying safe in your cruise cabin. I'm going to share with you the clip and then talk about the responses, so check this out. This video went absolutely viral. The video received over 18 million views and she received a lot of feedback, some comical about the many measures she was employing. 
Okay, we have five cruise news pieces remaining, including the top headlines of the day, but quick question, chime in down below. This TikTok video, it got me to thinking. I don't think that she was trying to say that someone should do every single one of those tips. I think she was just showing a lot of different considerations and things that you could do in order to stay safe, but it got me to thinking about safety on a cruise. Now, anywhere that you're at can be unsafe, including your own home, but here's a question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how safe do you think it is going on a cruise? With 10 being that you are very safe and 1 being that you're not safe at all, where would you put cruising on a scale of 1 to 10? I will look very much forward to reading that, but now on with the cruise news. Number 6, sad news, a cruise passenger lost their life while their ship was at Bimini, Bahamas. This 55-year-old man from Pensacola, Florida drowned while swimming at Radio Beach. He was swimming with a family member who lost sight of him and he was later discovered unresponsive on shore. CPR was administered on scene. He was then transported to a local clinic where he was pronounced dead. Let's definitely pray for this man's family. Number 7. With some good news, one cruise ship is being used to confront the tragedy of homelessness in France. The MS Bordeaux cruise ship is being used as a temporary homeless shelter. The ship is typically used for boat and bike tours in Europe, but its accommodations are now being used as a warm and safe place for 100 people throughout the winter season. Moving on to number 8, a cruise passenger has been reported to have intentionally jumped overboard from a cruise ship. This occurred on the MSC Preciosa cruise ship. The ship was en route to Rio de Janeiro at the time. This occurred on Saturday. Reports state that the man was having an argument with his significant other and he then jumped off his balcony into the sea. The cruise ship searched for him for two hours and then left the Brazilian Coast Guard to continue the effort. The man still remains missing. Very sad. Let's definitely pray for this situation as well. Next, number nine, quick actions by cruise passengers on the Costa Serena cruise ship helped save five lives. This occurred while the ship was sailing in the Arabian Sea off the coast of India. Two cruise passengers spotted a group of people in life jackets about a mile from the cruise ship. They made this sighting while they were on their cabin balcony. The bridge was notified and the captain altered course to assist. They discovered five fishermen who were stranded at sea and thankfully all five men were successfully rescued. Then number 10, a cruise ship teen went missing but thankfully they have been found. The family was cruising on the Norwegian Spirit cruise ship and the incident occurred while the ship was docked at Port Chalmers in New Zealand. The 15 year old girl became separated from her parents while they were at port. The parents notified the police and a large search ensued. The police did a missing person post on Facebook. As a result, someone in the community did spot the young girl and she was reunited with her parents. And the family all made it back on the ship before it departed port. Good news. Okay, subscribe and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with the latest cruise news and information. The next video will be coming out soon, but until then, keep on cruising and we'll catch you in the next video.